A man from Southern California who now lives in the shadow of Kilauea has become the first casualty of this month's volcanic eruption. He was badly injured, but he lived to tell the tale. What's it like to be hit by a lava bomb? You're about to find out. Cracks in the earth, spewing molten lava and occasionally exploding. The Kilauea eruption launching lava bombs like this one. Take a closer look as we slow the video down. It's a big blob of molten lava that cools just enough to harden on the outside as it flies through the air with a liquid red hot center. This lava bomb came and hit right here. Daryl Clinton, a graduate of Alta Loma High School in Rancho Cucamonga, now lives on the big island of Hawaii. He stayed behind when his neighbors evacuated, armed with a fire extinguisher guarding their homes against lava bombs. He became something of an expert on how not to get hit. Look up and watch him. Keep your eye on him. It's almost like catching a football, but you don't want to catch this football. If only he had taken his own advice. The day after this interview, a lava bomb hit Clinton in the lower leg. It was the most forceful impact I've ever had in my body in my life. My leg was in half, my bone was sticking out, there was blood squirting out, and my leg were a hinge. And so it knocked me down onto the couch, which caught on fire from the flaming rock. Doctors were able to save his shattered leg. I can't believe they could put it back together. I thought it was, I just wanted to live. I, I didn't care if they cut my leg off down there or not. He still has his leg and along with it, an incredible story of how he took a hit from Kilauea and survived. I just think about my daughters and I knew I was up on that roof, up on that roof and I was in really bad shape. I had to get out of there. Clinton believes the searing heat from the lava bomb cauterized his wound and kept him from bleeding to death. He's expected to make a full recovery. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.